All right, and with that, I'm getting word that we are ready to move on to our next run. So we're going to give it over to Chaos Wolf and get started with Power Slave Exhumed. Hello, everyone. Greetings from Texas. I am Chaos Wolf, or you can just call me Wolf. And today I'm going to take you on a trip to Egypt as we're going to play Power Slave Exhumed. I'm joined here by Kaiser, if you would like to introduce yourself. Hi, um, so yes, I'm, uh, I'm Kaiser, the primary developer for uh, Power Slave uh, Exhumed, and I'll be commentating on this run. Um, this run is pretty fast paced, so I'll try my best to uh, keep up with the run. Okay, so we're just going to go to new game, select our save slot, and timing will begin on difficulty selection in three, two, one, go. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and tell us about this game, Kaiser? So, um, for those who haven't uh, heard of this game before, uh, Power Slave is a first-person shooter uh, originally developed by Le Lobotomy Software in 1996 for the PC, PlayStation, and Sega Saturn. Um, all three of these versions are pretty different from one another, with the PC version being um, an entirely different game in that plays a more like a like a traditional first person shooter while the PlayStation and Sega Saturn versions play a lot like uh, Metroid Prime where the focus is exploring acquiring new abilities and um, accessing the areas that you couldn't get to before and so forth so um, as for the um, um, as for the story, it's pretty simple. Uh, aliens known as the Killmot arrive on Earth. They steal King Ramsey's uh, mummy to use it for for harnessing uh, power, and um, and you and your team are sent on a mission to uh, stop them. Your helicopter gets shot down, and you're the only surviving person armed with a machete. But um, as you progress, you end up um, acquiring more weapons, like a pistol, M60, and um, and you know, even uh, mystical weapons like the Cobra Staff and Ring of Raw. So um, the main goal is to recover six artifacts that will um, give you different abilities and you'll be needing these abilities to access um, 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 e um, access uh, different areas in, in the game to allow you to uh, progress further in the, in the level or um, uh, throughout Egypt. So the... the for the remaster, it's, um, it, it's it's based on the Sega Saturn version, but some additional content from the, the PlayStation version are um, included as well. So so it's like uh, in PlayStation, you fight uh, blue scorpions while you you fight red scorpions in the uh, Sega Saturn version. So this remaster kind of combines uh, both elements of, of these versions uh, together. And, um, and you know that that also includes um, exclusive levels, um, new areas, and so forth. So um, for the for the game itself, it has a, a really weird um, um, design choice where you have only one type of, of ammo pickup, and um, it will, which is like like these uh, blue orbs, which will allow you to uh, replenish replenish ammo for the weapon that you're holding and. Um, the way ammo and health uh, drops are done is extremely randomized. So um, the game itself is is really random, uh, randomized. So you know, destroying pots, uh, enemies um, spawning, ammo, health, and so forth is is largely at the mercy of the RNG. So there may be cases where you might be without um, health and ammo for for a really long time. Um, so um, coming up is. Um, the, the first artifact of the game, which will uh, allow you to uh, jump higher, and uh, we'll be needing that to um, um, access uh, Sobic Pass, which is located in Karnak. So after um, so after revisiting Ramses' uh, tomb, we'll be exiting and um, traveling back to Karnak, which since now that we have the the, the um, sandals will it'll allow us to jump higher and we'll be able to access another area that will take us to um, another level in the uh, in the game which is um, Sobic Pass and um, is your sharing mine because I'm already at Sobic Pass wow okay yeah I might be I might be behind then there might be a, a pretty big delay on on my end 
It's all good. Uh, there's not much going on in this level. You can go ahead, go ahead and read off a donation. Absolutely. We have lots of love for people looking to get this Minecraft incentive going. $25 from Cody Weaver says, come on, everyone. Let's get that Minecraft incentive. Got time for some more? Um, um, after, um, after this, there's a, this, a big absolutely. sequence break right here. <laughs> and that was very delayed, so I'm going to restart. I take it you're um, you're at um, at the beginning of the of the shrine. Yes, we just pulled it off uh, second try. Oh, you, wow. you would like to explain the uh, mechanics behind that, okay. and then we'll go to another donation. Right. So uh, about that that glitch, um, it is what's actually happening is that the, the game is getting confused whether or not the uh, player is in a in a falling state. So um, if you're holding down jump. Um, before taking explosive damage, it's it, it would cause the state to get overridden and uh, the knockback will not apply until the player is in this false state. So when the player hits the ground, that that override state is cleared and the, and the game immediately realizes, hey, you received knockback damage, I'm gonna apply it to it uh, right now. So that is actually what's causing that, that delay. So, um, um, so, so that that, uh, that glitch is pretty much um, um, exploited to um, to kind of give us uh, some extra boost to, uh, to to get us to to reach places that we normally couldn't get to before. Um, normally, I, I I wanted to keep that glitch, but <laughs> um, unfortunately, it's it's actually related to another bug, which is a, a really uh, nasty bug that that definitely needed to get to, to get fixed. So unfortunately, you won't be able to do this in the in the latest patch. I can go ahead with that donation. Yeah. All right, fantastic. We have a $250 anonymous donation. Can we get some hype for that? Thank you so much for that donation. As well as $100 from Rough Bacon. It says, my dad and I watch a GDQ event every year and love supporting a great cause. We're especially excited to meet that Minecraft incentive because it's our favorite game to play together. This one goes out to my dad and his doggo, Duke. Keep up the great work. And coming up here is the uh, first trip to the mines where we'll get the the bomb. So yeah, the um, the the bombs is um, it's it's pretty broken. Um, for those who have uh, played Quake, uh, using the uh, rocket launcher can be abused to uh, to allow us to uh, jump higher and get to places that you couldn't get to before. So it's the it's the same deal with this. We'll be using the the bomb to. To intentionally um, receive not uh, not back damage to uh, to give us an extra uh, jumping boost, um, so it's it's pretty much the equivalent to uh, rocket jumping. And um, normally you could um, you could do this easily on the Sega Saturn version, but for some reason they disabled it in the in the PlayStation version. And I'm I don't recall you can even do that on on the PC version. And now that we have the bombs, we can do a pretty big sequence break here with this level. Um, normally you have to find a way around the lasers, but we can go straight to the end and jump over. And then we'll head off to the first boss. Yeah, so so the, the first boss uh, set uh, uh, currently guards the third uh, artifact, which will allow us to slowly uh, drift down as, as we fall. And we'll be needing that to get to the um, caverns level um, located in, in the mines. So um, we'll be using the uh, arena to our, to our advantage, uh, try to get the boss to walk into the, um, um, the, the fireball traps to try He's to- He's already started to jump. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so the game is really, really uh, randomized, so um, there, might, there might be cases where he might not jump at all, but and then there'll be cases where he, he won't jump. Or, yeah. So, um, so with that, since now that we have the, uh, the next artifact, we will be revisiting the, the mines and um, 
and um, from there we'll be entering the, the next level which is the uh, caverns and since we're backtracking um, you can go ahead and read off a donation or two perfect timing we have got a ton of love coming for you wolf we have $20 from bug doctor it says I ducked out of work for a quick moment to donate during wolf's run good luck bud May the RNG vases treat you well, may the birds and wasps cooperate, and may Ramses find your drip acceptable. <laughs> We've also got $100 from Pabs that says, Good luck, Wolf. Seriously, hope you get good luck on this run. Shout out to Boomer Shooters, Night Dive Studios, Wide Hit Boxes, and the Turok Speedrunning Discord. That's actually something worth noting is that the, the player's uh, hitbox is extremely wide for some reason. And my guess is mostly a design choice um, because um, I think it's just because of they, the, the, the uh, developers didn't want you viewing um, walls up close because um, the Sega Saturn and PlayStation only had um, um, a fine uh, texture warping. So I, I, that's just that's just my guess. They just wanted you to give you a wide enough ra radius to keep you far enough from from walls, but. But yeah, it's 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 a pretty odd choice. I was a little too early on that super jump. Yeah, it was like like we explained earlier. Um, we have the bombs now, so we can do super jumps of our own without needing the explosive barrels. But I was way too early on it. Yeah, the 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 trick is very similar to um, to uh, what I've uh, explained earlier. So it's so it's like the. When, once you take the, the knockback uh, damage, that that velocity applied is is actually put on hold um, because the game technically thinks you're not actually falling. So once you hit the ground, uh, whatever override state um, that was being caused from holding down jump is cleared, and now the game sees that oh you're falling. I'm going to apply knockback damage to you now, and that and that will cause us that um, that that jumping boost. And, and yeah, this, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to mention the this elevator shaft in particular. We're careful to not to trigger that platform, so we don't have to wait on it. And this part, okay, that was too early. All right. Yeah, I just need to be mindful of my platforming here because I don't have the protection against that swamp, and I'll fall down and likely die. Coming up is the hardest level in the whole speed run. Yeah, it's um, yeah a lot of a lot of speedrunners um, um, definitely hate this level. It's mostly because it's it's cramped. Uh, there's a lot of wasps, uh, a lot of mummies that will just get in your way, and since um, since you're at the mercy of the RNG, you might um, they might. There'll be some cases where they might cooperate and then there'll be some times where they won't and they'll just just constantly get in your way but hopefully we should be spending too much time in, in this in this level and um and hopefully the the wasp will cooperate and not not get in not get in our way um not much else is going to be happening so this probably another good time for um, um donations if you have any absolutely we have quite a few we have a lot of people trying to get knuckles to win this incentive bid war coming up 25 dollars from doc professor says i need to see knuckles twice in a row let's get our red boy to the top in sonic advance we've also got 25 dollars from spoon mage it says getting into the best prize block so far and showing love to Knuckles. Time for a little more? Um, sure, why not? All right. We got $250 oh, wow. from our previous runner, Demon Child Elise. Thank you so much, Elise. It says $5 per death. That makes $250. Thank you again, SGDQ, for having me on, and good luck to all the runners coming up. All right, so I'm just, uh, there's a cycle to these fireball traps and I'm trying to be very careful when to go. 
yeah, uh, fireball traps actually deal like, um, I would say, um, 100 points of damage, which is almost equivalent to uh, one bar. So yeah, they can they can definitely they can definitely hurt. <laughs> okay, and the worst of it's over. Wow, I am definitely behind. Because I'm not sharing in Discord. That's why. That's my mistake. Nah, it's um, all good. Yeah, this level introduces the the Bastet, which is named after the Egyptian cat goddess, and they like to turn you into their own, their own personal uh, scratching post. Yeah, on harder difficulties, they will pretty much kill you within seconds if, if they uh, if they all gang up on you. I always compare them to chain gooders in Doom. They kill you much faster, except just in melee range. And um, they're also kind of uh, annoying. They can be annoying sometimes because they 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 tend to like to like to uh, teleport um, out, and um, they kind of like you have to play a little waiting game with them and waiting for them to, to, to spawn back in. And yeah, they can they can sometimes get it um, be annoying to fight. That's a restart checkpoint. I got knocked around by the mummies. Uh, I'm gonna play it safe and not bomb jump up here just to preserve a little bit of health. Normally you need the uh, the feather to get across, but since we can just oh, since we can just bomb jump, we can pretty much bypass. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Backtracking back to uh, the, the sanctuary here, um, we can probably have some more time for donations. Alrighty, we can absolutely do that. We have some huge donations coming through. We have $250 from Grand Soul that says, let's go! <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Grand Soul. We also have a five hundred dollar anonymous donation that simply says less than three thank you so much for that generous donation We've also got one hundred dollars from real deal long time watcher first time donating these marathons are always an event at my household and i always look forward to them love the amount of work put in by the team the hosts and of course the runner much love all, all right. coming up here is uh Probably one of the worst levels casually. But thankfully, the super jumps that I've been performing during the run can also be done underwater. If I can just hit this mine. Okay. So yeah, I jumped in and I'm still holding space. Yeah, and then right here, I'll throw a bomb at my feet. I'm concerned about my health. Um, I might... I might need to take a trip back to old set arena. Yeah, that's um, yeah, it, it's a, it's a pretty s slow level. I mean, uh... thankfully though, it's got a very pleasant track. Uh, who was the composer for this again? Do not uh, recall the name. I uh, I know his first name, but I do not recall his last. Uh, it's uh, Scott. Uh, actually, I'm gonna look that up right now because it's it's going. I I definitely know it's going. It's going to bother me uh, later on. Uh, let's see. And for some. Marathon safety, I'm gonna go to set arena because there were those uh, two refills at the start here, so you can use this time for donations. Perfect. We have so much love coming in from your community, Wolf. We've got $25 from James Quasar Haley. James Yo. from Night Dive Studios here. Good luck on the run and a shout out to my buddy Kaiser on the mic. What's up? <laughs> We've got $25 from Sine Wave Dave. It says, hey, good luck with the run, and may the RNG treat you well. 
fifty dollars uh, anonymously donated from the console doom discord that says good luck with your run chaos finally we've got ten dollars from roboton that says good luck kw you got this um, by the way, the uh, the composer is um, Scott Branston, and unfortunately, he has done nothing else uh, outside of Power Slate, which is which is, which is a shame because um, the, the soundtrack for this game is is really really good. Okay. Uh, this level cramped with uh, the Bastet and the mummies. There is a health refill coming up, but I'm just gonna survive up until that point. There's a yeah, enemies. fireball trap that goes off. Yeah, and the, we got hit. Yeah, the the enemies in this map can can get really brutal sometimes, um, depending on if they if they get in, in your in your way or not. And since this game is extremely uh, randomized, there's a most likely a good chance they will get in, get in your way. Oh, yeah. yeah I got I got called to death by the bastard, so we're just restarting, picking up that key again. Usually, there's a line you can take around them to avoid taking too much damage, but my health is already really low. Yeah, it it happens, but um, but, but it should definitely be be doable. And then coming up after this, um, first we get this refill, and then we're gonna slow fall to the exit to the next boss fight. The, yeah, and the, the next boss is uh, Selkis, which guards the um, um, Scepter uh, artifact, which is used to disable uh, force fields. Um, this boss is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, it's it's basically like a like an overpowered uh, mummy enemy. It just constantly um, fires uh, homing uh, projectiles at you. So it's just a matter of just staying, you know, staying out, uh, out of its way and just constantly uh, taking cover and it's more or less pretty straightforward. And then I'm gonna get this weapon refill a few quick bursts from the, the Cobra Sap and try to lure her back. She's not cooperating. Marathon luck, of course. <laughs> what is this? Come here. There we go. It's... <laughs> wow. <laughs> the idea was to get her to follow you all the way back to here, but she was goofing around. But anyway, now with this in hand, we're going to backtrack to the mountain shrine where we first did the, the sequence break, so good time for a donation. All right, absolutely. We have got $100 from Johnny Grunge says, I always enjoy SGDQ events. This happens near my birthday each year, and what better way to celebrate than to donate and give a gift to help others? Thanks for all that you do. Thank you, Johnny, for that $100 donation. Also got $50 from Tasud. So I heard about this cool thing called Twitch Prime. I hear if you use it, you can help support the great cause. Shout outs to GDQ. This level here uh, introduces the enemy on the cover art called the... Oh, by the way, this is a very... This is a, a bitrate killer, and so there's nothing I can do about it. It's probably going to look very bad for those of you watching. Uh, yeah, this introduces the Magmantis, and also get a new weapon called the uh, Ring of Ra. Or like what the speed, speedrunners like to call it, the uh, jazz hands. <laughs> As you saw briefly right there, it just happened to be out. Um, this is um, probably every speedrunner's favorite level because there's a lot of fun platforming. Yeah, yeah and, and this is also the level that has the the uh, last artifact in the game, which is the, uh, the feather that will allow us to um, uh, levitate. 
Oh. That's fine, that's easily fixed. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of hard commentating on something that's so uh, far behind. <laughs> I would have to blame my, my internet for that. Oh, that's there's always going to be delays. I didn't share screen once uh, we switched over. Yeah, switch channels, I mean. So we're going back to Canyons of Chaos for the uh, last bit of the game. So we're coming up to the end here. And uh, and also worth noting the uh, the, the 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 canyons um, has the, uh, the the last weapon in the game, which is kind of it, it's kind of like the, the BFG, but it it takes forever to uh, charge up, and it's also out of the way, so it's really not worth um, getting for uh, for this run. But um, but yeah, um, aside from that, um, after after this level, we'll be um, entering the, um, the the kill mat uh, colony and. Um, that would introduce us to a, a new type of enemy, which is the uh, the very same aliens that that stole Ramsey's uh, mummy. We have time for one donation while we're in the canyons. Uh, yes. Yes. We've got twenty dollars from Doctor Jekyll that says nothing fancy to say here. Good luck on the run and praying for obedient birds in the canyons of chaos. <laughs> Alright, so the beginning of this one I kind of do a little bit as intended and then do one bomb boost because if you don't do that one and keep going the lasers will come on and we don't want that. And here we are, here, there's the, the kill mod. Casually, um, this level is really, uh, it's, it's extremely difficult because of the instant death uh, lasers that you, you would have to um, um, navigate around. And it's actually even harder because, um, you know, uh, because ha having to play play this level on on the Saturn uh, back in the day was extremely, um, well, very. It's very tricky to do. But since we can just just uh, uh, rocket jump, um, um, we can just bypass the whole thing. It's also worth noting that this level right here is um, is um, another uh, PlayStation exclusive that I went ahead and just uh, uh, ported over to to this remaster. So you're basically you're basically playing um, both versions of of this level, both the Saturn and PlayStation versions. And now we finally made it to the last boss. We face off against the Kilmot Queen. Uh, but first, we have to give up all the artifacts we've worked so hard to collect. The boss itself yeah, is, is mostly like a... It's mostly a, a pushover. Um, starts off with just trying to uh, um, um, uh, ram you off the, off the arena, but um, um, we, we, can, we can try to uh, lock it in place and just try to uh, deal damage before it has a chance to start um, um, spawning uh, enemies uh, around it. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. And with all the Cobra Staff ammo used, we just finish off with bombs. You want to aim for the intel segment, just do it. Throwing them at the head does nothing. Yeah, I'm, I actually don't know why they went that choice, that design choice. It's kind of weird, but um, but yeah, you, you you basically have to um, destroy its tail uh, one by one, and then and then you'll be and able to, to destroy time, the head. Time is going to be coming up as soon as uh, I retrieve Ramsey's body and time. Nice. So that's it for Power Slaving Zoom. We um, have a few words with Ramses. He informed us that uh, we didn't collect all the transmitter pieces and we can't inform our team that we're still alive. So we don't warn the, the rest of the world about the Kelmont and they come back centuries later and wipe out humanity. But that's the Andy Percent uh, ending. 
So yeah, that's fantastic run. Thank you so much. Did you all have any uh, shout outs you want to make? Yeah, just thank you for GDQ. This is my first time attending. I've uh, done several marathons before this one, but it's of course the big stage. Um, yeah, shout out to uh, the Build Engine Discord. Um, even though this is on Kex Engine, the original PC version was Build Engine. So that's where we house all the, the speed, speed run talk. If you would like to learn this game, I have a series of videos on YouTube. And yeah, just join us over there on the Discord. Um, uh, if you'd like to see more FPS games that I speedrun, come follow me over on Twitch, chaos underscore wolf. And now I'm going to throw it over to you, Kaiser, if you have any final words. Um, yes, uh, I, uh, thanks for um, inviting me to, to do commentary. And um, and um, this game was, uh, was a blast to uh, just take apart and remaster. Um, I've I've just been obsessed with this game for a really long time. Uh, even back, you know, back in the day when I first started playing it, um, it's a, it's it's definitely a uh, underrated game. I I, I heavily suggest um, uh, giving it a try. And um, um, and yeah. And um, aside from that, um, yeah, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> and, and thank you, of course, for for commentating for me. I forgot to mention, but yeah, that's that's it for me. Thank you both so much for that fantastic run. Can we hear it one more time for Chaos Wolf and Kaiser and that awesome Power Slave Exhumed run?